Hi, Mike Hagan here. I want to show you the differences between the Markins ball heads. Over here on the side, I have the Markins M20. In the middle here, I have the Markins M10. And on the left, I have the Markins Q3. The Markins M20 is really designed for these larger lenses and camera combinations. So, for example, here I have the Nikon 200 to 400 millimeter f4 and a Nikon D700 with a vertical grip. So this scenario, this ball head is really designed for maybe the larger 500 millimeter f4 with a D3 uh, camera attached, those types of combinations. It works great also with a wide angle lens and the medium telephoto lenses. It's just designed to hold a lot of weight if you need it. In the middle, the Markins M10, great ball head. I use this one the most since it's a medium size yet very sturdy. Here I have a Nikon D300S with a 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8. This is kind of the sweet spot for this ball head. Um, I have used this ball head in the past with this 200 to 400 millimeter f4. Good results, but the larger ball head is really designed for the bigger stuff. This middle one's designed for the medium range. Most of the f2.8 lenses, like the 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8, the 24 to 70 f2.8, and the 70 to 200 f2.8, most of those work really well with this setup. The smallest ball head that Markins makes is the Q3, and this is designed as more of a travel uh, adventure type uh, setup. Here I have a small camera like the, the uh, Nikon D7000 or D90 with the 24 to 70 f2.8. Um, I have used this with my 70 to 200 f2.8. It's a little bit too small for that scenario, but it works in a pinch. So this is great for kit lenses, maybe small point and shoots. Um, it does hold a lot of weight and it's, not, uh, it's really dependent on the tripod. The sturdier the tripod, the better your, tri your ball head will do. So we have the M20, the M10, the Q3. They all work great for their intended purposes. Hopefully now you understand the relative size differences and where their sweet spots are. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.